What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the channel. I'm getting ready to show you guys how to remove the background from a JPEG. I'm gonna show you how to make that background disappear so that you can take your picture and drop it into something else and have these really cool effects that you see me doing in these videos. You ready? Here we go. All right, y'all, so check it out. It's really, really simple to do, a really, really simple process. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta get a picture and we're gonna utilize the one that I'm showing right here. This is a little, uh, avatar of me that I had done up on another program or whatever. But what we're going to do is we're going to remove this background. Now, you don't go into any program to do this. You have to do this right from the desktop of your Mac. OK, so is that that really helps out, makes it really, really quick and simple. But I want to make sure you understand this. This is an effect that you know, sometimes see on like a Photoshop or something like that. And I don't have Photoshop. I don't use it. I don't want to learn it. I don't feel like you ain't got time for it. Don't want to do it. I'm, I'm too old to be learning something. I'm going to stick with doing it this way and, and manipulating the programs that we have in Mac natively to actually do the same types of tricks. You know, not as great, but some of the things that will work perfectly for what we're trying to do, especially on YouTube. So here's how you do it. You ready? The first thing you got to do is when you have your JPEG open is you click this little button right here, which says show your markup toolbar. Once you have that and you click it, you're going to get all of these little icons of different things that you can do. But the one that we're concerned about is the magic wand. We're gonna click that right there, and when you click that, you'll notice that your cursor changed from the pointer to that little X, right, or star, whatever that is, cross. And what we do is we place it, place the uh, mouse now on the color or background image, anything that we wanna remove, you place it on that. Once you do that, you, you click it and drag. And once you click and drag, you'll see how the colors start to change and it'll turn pink because we're getting ready to get rid of that. Everything that you see that is pink, that's gonna disappear. Now we let it go and you see the outline. So you'll notice it's wrapped right around the face, right around the edges. Once we do that, it's real simple from there. Just hit delete. So as you hit delete, this window pops up and it asks, do you want to turn this to a PNG? Yes, you do. This is how you do it. You have to do this. It has to be a PNG, a PNG to remove it. Okay. So we're going to hit convert. And as soon as we do that, Now, I want to show you something that gets a little bit more detail now. So some of y'all get ready to click off and say, thanks, I got it. But don't go nowhere just yet because I need to show you this. Sometimes you're doing something you really want it to get really, really precise. So you need to remove, see that white edge around there? Maybe you want to attempt to move that. This is how you would do it. You leave the wand clicked and you zoom in and it's going to pixelate. You don't care about that. And wherever you see the white that you want to remove, what you do is you do the same thing. You click on it and drag. And in this situation, it's not going to remove a lot, but you'll discover that if you have a background, like there was one picture that I had, as a matter of fact, I'll put it on the screen. I'll put both, put both versions of it up there. You'll see the green. Well, that green, uh, because it was a green screen, it actually wasn't all the same color. And so I had to remove a little bit at a time to get it. And it takes a little bit of time sometimes depending on that background. With a white background or a solid background where it's perfectly even, it comes right out. But sometimes it'll leave a lot of green specks in it. And so you have to take your time to get that out. And that's what I wanted to talk about. Sometimes if you wanna get a little bit more uh, up close, that's what you're gonna have to do. And it can take a little bit of time, but I don't want you to get discouraged when you see it happen and think it didn't work. It's probably gonna leave some color in there. And if you start trying to remove things like grass or like a house background, you're going to have to do bits and pieces at a time, and it's going to take a while. So I want you to have fun with it, but I want to warn you that that can happen. So when it happens, you don't do it like I did, and I thought something was wrong. All right? Well, listen up, man. You made it this far. I hope you haven't been enjoying the videos. And if you have, make sure that you click like, subscribe. Make sure that you click share. Make sure that you tell somebody about what we're doing. Share us on Facebook. You can follow us on Facebook. Share us on Instagram. You can do all of that. Instagram, we get ready to bring a Twitter back. All kinds of stuff like that. Just follow me everywhere. I'm pretty much, I'm on pretty much everything. So if you got any questions, hit me up in the comment sections. I will follow you. And for those of you that have been watching these videos, we have been watching the, the video views jump and it is a good feeling. It's amazing. We really appreciate it. Always leave me a comment, man. Let us know how we're doing. If you really appreciate what we're doing. All right. All right. So listen up. We got some more we're going to show you later on. We're going to go even further with this. It's going to get real, real good. So I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.